Hey guys, so okay, this is a really um simple look. This, this is a really um kind of like a brownish look. It's got a bit of smokiness to it, but it's just really um it's smoky but still a bit light, not too heavy in the eyes. So yeah, really simple. Um that's about it. Take care guys. So I'm gonna start off first with prepping my lids and as usual I'm gonna use a MAC paint pot. Mine's almost finishing. This is laying low to discontinued colour, so I don't know what I'm gonna do when this finishes. Okay. Um, and if, in case you're wondering, because I know people normally ask whether I'm wearing lenses, yes, I do. I do wear coloured lenses. Um, I normally wear grey, but my grey one's finished, so I'm actually wearing green now. This is why. This is from um, Fresh Look Color Blends. So I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. This is the Mac 227. Just a really big fluffy brush. I'm gonna pick up some highlight color, and this goes just directly under the brows, right? And just blend it down, not too strong. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, a base colour. I'm using this brown. I forgot the name of it. I don't know what it's called but it looks like this. Okay. So I'm just going to use a regular big fat brush. I don't know where this is from. But it looks like this. It's just a really big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take some colour. The thing about using fluffy brushes is that um, because it's big and fluffy, right? Um, it gives an even amount so you don't really get like too concentrated of a color so uh, these fake lashes are annoying me so I'm just gonna use this and go all over my um, the eyelid up just up to the crease okay so just lightly dust this all on so just into the crease like that so basically what I've done is I really stuck on the fake lashes and I'm just lining a very simple line here just using a pencil liner because you want to smudge it out eventually like that so I'm going to go for a small brush just something like this right. and I'm going to pick up some black and I'm going to mix it with the previous brown that I had on and just want to smudge out the line here see that? and then you don't want to leave a very harsh line so just smudge out the line okay and then I'm going to do my I'm going to do the lower lash line as well. So for here, I'm going to use the pencil liner as well and just line my lower lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want a line to help you know where to apply the eyeshadow. Okay, and then again, I'm going back for the small brush, picking up some brown and black and smudge out this line And then I'm going to use my pencil liner and just fill in my waterline here. Okay. And then I'm going to just go over the top lash line again just to define it a little bit more. Just very close to the lash line. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm not going to apply mascara.
So for my cheeks, I'm gonna contour. I'm using um, this one. This is Brown Berry by um, Bobby Brown. Okay. And for the blusher, um, this is my new favorite. This is from Moa Cosmetics, which is M U A Cosmetics, which is a local brand here in Singapore. But you can only um, get their stuff online. But they also ship internationally, so you can get them. Um, from anywhere you are. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them that I bought from one of the sales recently. So I'm using these two lovely colors here. This is um, Sparkling Rose and Coral Sun. I actually mix them both because one is peachy, one is pinky. So it gives a really nice healthy glow. So for my lips, what I'm going to do is um, Okay, this lip stain markers came out a couple of weeks back, or maybe a couple of one or two months back. Okay, right, so lip stain markers. I got in Sunset. I got a couple of colors. This is one of them. It's um, from the Art Supplies collection. This is Sunset. It's really lovely colors. Um, I like them because they're really sheer and um, like they don't go on too strong. But I don't exactly like wearing such strong colors too. Isn't they? they're not very strong. They're a bit sheer. But still, I prefer something more lighter. So what I do is, I fill in my whole lip with this first. I'm not sure if MAC still sells these, but if they do, I suggest getting them quickly. Okay, so you can see it's a really strong color. I'm really not um, into such strong colors. But I love it because it's got very long lasting power. So what I do is I top it off with some Chanel lipstick. This is um, number 81, one of my favorite nude lipsticks. Okay, one of my favorite nude lipsticks. Okay, it's a bit of a brownish shade. It came from the Spring 2010 collection. So I just layer it on. It gives me a more of a brownish shade which is what I love and it definitely will last long because it's got um, the lip stain marker as a base so that was the look pretty simple just a really nice natural kind of smoky eye not too heavy on the eye uh, yeah that was it thanks for watching guys bye bye Sparkles! Sparkles! <laughs>